Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Engineering Education. In this video, we will discuss about static indeterminacy of a structure. A static indeterminacy can be calculated with the help of a formula which is called as a static indeterminacy is equal to alpha m plus r minus beta j plus gamma where of alpha is equal to number of actions in a member. There are three types of actions in every member that is nothing but shear force, moment and axial force. m is equal to number of members, j is equal to number of joints, r is equal to number of reactions, beta is equal to number of equilibrium equations available at a joint. Number of equilibrium equations available at a joint for each joint there will be three equation of equilibrium available which are nothing but summation of f of x, summation of f of y and sum of the moment. These are the equilibrium equations available and gamma is equal to number of release. So number of release can be calculated with the help of number of members at internal hinge minus one. Always remember that gamma will be at hinge only. Whenever there will be hinge in a structure, then we will use this formula as number of release equal to number of members at internal hinge minus one. And we already know that when the static indeterminacy is less than one, that particular structure is a unstable structure. And when static indeterminacy is equal to zero, which is nothing but a determinate structure. And when the static indeterminacy is greater than zero, then it is called as an indeterminate structure. Indeterminate structure. So there is one basic formula. With the help of this formula, we can calculate static indeterminacy of any structure that is nothing but SI is equal to alpha m plus r minus beta j plus gamma. Let us calculate static indeterminacy for beam, truss and frame. Let us consider first problem. For this particular beam, alpha is equal to 3 that is nothing but number of actions in the member. Shear force is there, axial force is also there and moment is also there. Member, there are two members, one Two. Regarding with number of reactions for hinge there are two reactions for roller there is one and for fixed there will be three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six reactions are there. Regarding with beta, beta is nothing but number of equilibrium equations available. So there are three equilib equilibrium equations are available at any joint. Regarding with j, j is equal to number of joint. So there are one, two, three, three joints are there. And there is no any internal hinge, therefore number of releases will be zero. This is nothing but a gamma. So static indeterminacy for the structure is nothing but 3 into 2 plus reactions are 6 minus beta is 3, j is equal to 3 plus gamma is equal to 0. So static indeterminacy for the structure is equal to 3. Let us consider a second problem. Here, alpha is equal to 3 because number of equilibrium, uh, number of actions in a member are 3. Members 1, 2, 3. Here are 3 members as there is one hinge. Reactions, definitely the reactions will be the same as per previous problem. For hinge, there is there are 2. For roller, there is 1. And for fixed beam, there will be the 3. Regarding with beta, beta is nothing but number of equilibrium equations available. So there are three number of equi equilibrium equations are available. Regarding with the joints, one, two, three, four, there are four joints and gamma, there is one hinge. So there are two members are uh, there. Therefore, gamma is equal to two minus one is equal to one. So now put these values in this formula, we'll get answer alpha is equal to three, members are three, Reactions are 6 minus beta is 3, joints are 4 plus releases is 1. Therefore, when we calculate this, the static indeterminacy for this beam is equal to 2. Let us consider the next, next problem. Uh, from this uh, beam, we can summarize that for a beam, alpha, always alpha will be. 3 
and beta will be 3. Let us consider next problem, truss. For this truss, alpha number of actions available. For any truss, there is only one axial force is there. There will not be any shear force or bending moment. Therefore, always for truss, alpha is equal to 1. So, here alpha is equal to 1. Member 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 members regarding with reactions. For hinge, there are 2 reactions. For roller, there is 1 reaction. So, there are 3 reactions available. Beta, number of action, number of equilibrium equations. There are 2 equilibrium equations always available for this nothing but summation of f of x and summation of f of y. So, 2. Number of joints, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 joint and there is no any hinge. Therefore, gamma is equal to 0. So, when we substitute these values in this formula, we can say that alpha is equal to 1, members are 9, plus reactions are 3, minus uh, number of equilibrium equations are available are 2, number of joints are 6, plus 0. So, 9 into 9 plus 10, 3, 12, minus 12, that is nothing but 0. So, static indeterminacy for this truss is 0 because this truss is a determinate truss. It's not a indeterminate. Always remember that alpha, that is number of actions available at member are 3. Uh, those are shear force, axial force and moment. But for truss, alpha will be only 1, that is axial force. And beta, equilibrium equations available, those are only 2, that is summation of f of x and summation of f of y. So, beta is 2 for the truss. Next problem is frame. For this frame, alpha, when we consider alpha, that means in the frame, definitely there will be axial force, there will be shear force and there will be the moment. So, alpha is equal to 3. Members, when we calculate this, there are 28 members in the frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 20, 28. There are total 28 members. When we consider reactions for this fixed, there will be 3 reactions. 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3. So, there are total 11 reactions. Beta, beta is nothing but equilibrium equations are available. Yes, there are 3 equilibrium equations are available. Summation of f of x, f, f of y and moment. So, beta is 3. Joint, there are 20 joint in the frame. And releases. Here we consider that there are 2 hinges. So, for 1 hinge, 3 members are joining. So, and for second hinge, uh, four members are joining and for first hinge also four members are joining. So, we know that number of release is nothing but uh, number of member minus one. For first hinge, four member, four minus one, three. For second hinge, four minus one, three. So, number of releases are three plus three is equal to six. So, when we substitute these values in this formula, we will get alpha is equal to three. Members are 28. Reactions are 11 minus uh, beta is 3, joints are 20 and number of releases are 6. So, ultimately the static indeterminacy of this frame is 29. So, always remember few things. For frame, alpha is equal to, always alpha will be 3 and beta is equal to 3. So, with the help of this formula, that is nothing but Alpha, static indeterminacy is equal to alpha m plus r minus beta j plus gamma. We can calculate a static indeterminacy of a beam, truss and frame. In the next video, we will discuss about kinematic indeterminacy. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, share, subscribe, Excel Engineering Education.